Hey everyone, it's Amy, and today I have a collective K-pop haul where I will be unboxing some albums from Twice and The Boys and Wavy. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started. I have Wavy's Awaken the World album, and I never really talk about them on this channel, but I have been really enjoying their music and their performances. I think they're amazing performers. However, um, I don't actually listen to NCT but yeah, I just really enjoy Wavy, and I really wanted to support them, but I had a really hard time finding this album. You know, I think they're pretty much out of print as of right now, and I don't know if there's going to be any plans for reprints. So I ended up just having to go ahead and get it secondhand, which was fine. The condition was really good, and I got it for a great price, and it ended up actually having the photo cards of a certain member that I wanted, so it all worked out really well for me. So we'll just go ahead and start unboxing everything and flipping through everything and as you can see here are the photo cards that came with this album and it's Ted and yes he is my wavy bias, gotta support our Thai men you know, <laughs> um, I am Thai if you did not know that. So yeah, um, got that little connection right there but I just really do love him and he's such an amazing performer and he's just so soft and kind and I've just been really enjoying just seeing him perform and yeah just the band in general oh my gosh i just think that they're so wonderful and i'm just so excited to have my very first wavy album So yeah, this is the photo book and I really enjoyed the concept a lot and I'm really excited to continue to support them and especially, you know, with any comebacks in the future, but I also hope I can get some of their older albums as well as, you know, time goes on. But now we are moving into Twice's twice Gram, and this is such a cute album. I love the Instagram theme and I know before I said that I wasn't going to try to collect any of their stuff that came before What is Love, but... I guess I lied because I decided to expand my collection and try to collect their even older stuff too. <laughs> so yeah, that is what we're doing. I will be collecting their photo cards. So yeah, as you can see here, there is the photo book for Jonghyun, Momo, and Julie. And the CD has Jonghyun on it. So yeah, it looks like each CD is going to have a different member, which I will not be collecting. For Twice, I only collect their album photo cards. So we've got Mina's Polaroid, and I was like, oh no, because I almost decided to collect Mina, and at the last minute, I decided to switch things around just a little bit. But as you're going to see in this haul, I actually had a lot of Mina luck, so now I'm kind of kicking myself a little bit, and I'm like, well, maybe I'll just hold on to Mina's cards too, because they are so beautiful. I'm really like the worst collector. Sometimes I form this like emotional attachment on the cards that I pull and I end up not trading them. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those, but the three members that I do collect are Dion, Sana, and Julie. And Dion is my like alt bias in the group. All right, so now here are the photo cards, and I pulled Momo. <laughs> this is so cute. I really love Momo as well. Honestly, if I could be OT9, I would. I love him so much. And then we've got Nyon's card, or like her Instagram card. So yeah, both of these are so pretty, and I'm like just so happy to have them. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be trading them yet, so yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but now we're moving into Twice Coaster Lane 2. And we have this pink version right here. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be collecting every single album version from Twice. I am going to be trying to collecting like their photo cards. I just don't know if I'm going to get every album version. But for now, we have this one. And I was just thinking the other day about how the yellow one kind of reminds me of Swiss cheese. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, I mean, aside from the fact that it's yellow and it's got these black dots on it, which look like holes of Swiss cheese. I don't know. So I call this one the pink Swiss cheese album. Yeah, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs>
And then we have this little standee right here, which I will not be collecting or putting together, but it's super cute. And it's Mina. Again, she's just making herself known and making me feel guilty for not collecting her, I see. <laughs> but I was so excited because I pulled die on photo card and we had a little accident. She's fine. Everything's fine. I just need to learn how to hold things better. <laughs> But I'm so happy to finally get a Dion card. I do not pull her very often at all. And then, as you can see here, we have another album. I got Fancy You. And this was the version that I just really liked the cover the best. So that's why I chose it to be my first album of this series. And I had a little bit of trouble figuring out how to open it. It's got a slip case. I did not expect that. <laughs> And here's the CD and I pulled Dion CD. Again, I don't collect the individual CDs, but it is still super pretty. And then here are the inclusions. We have a sticker sheet. And then there is a lenticular as well. And I pulled Nyon's lenticular. There's so many photo cards. I completely forgot how many photo cards this album came with. <laughs> well, we've got Chang's photo card. And then we also have Nyon's photo card, and I love that they have the individual members' colors. And then we've got Jungyeon's. And then Mina, and I love her colors so much. And then, surprise, another Mina. <laughs> she really did not want me to forget about her. Now moving into Summer Nights, which has one of my favorite concepts ever. I love the beachy theme, and there are three versions of this album, so I went with the one that has my favorite cover. And yeah, this album has a lot of photo cards as well. So I first pulled Momo's photo card. She's so cute. And then we also got Jihyo, and I love her. I almost biased her too. I feel like I had a really hard time deciding on my bias line, but here's Mina again. So she's like, hey, <laughs> I'm still here. And then we got Jui, so I was really excited to pull her finally. And it's one card that I didn't buy yet on my own. So that was really exciting. Then pulling Jungyeon. And then we've got this uh, special photo card or whatever you want to call it, but I got Mina. And yeah, there's like this way to read like the secret message underneath. Mm -hmm. 
and that is it for all of my twice albums and now we're moving into the section of the video where i unbox the boys again <laughs> so if you saw my last video where i had another haul it was all the boys albums and this one that you see right here is the first that's literally the name of the album is called the first and this version is called the fresh version so there are two versions and yeah i got the fresh one just because i thought it had a really cute cover and i love their boxes and just yeah i think that they make really really good packaging And one thing that I completely forgot about these uh, first albums is that they come with a set of postcards that has messages written by each member on the back. So I thought that was super cute and a really nice touch. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through these postcards real quick and then the photo book. And you get two photo cards in this album. So the first photo card that I pulled is Sonu's. <laughs> He's so cute. And then I pulled the unit photo card. So we got Kevin and Jacob's unit, which is so perfect. Uh, I do collect Kevin, so this works out so perfectly for me. And then now we're going into the next album. And this album is called The Start. And this is the set version. So there's three versions. There's Ready, Set, and Go. I believe the ready version is limited edition, so it is no longer in print and a lot harder to find. But yeah, this is the set version. And again, I went with this one because it has really cute colors and yeah, I just really enjoyed the concept. And then this album came with a set of postcards as well. And the backs of them actually have calendars on them. They're not dated, I think, um, but yeah, you can just like write down your own dates and stuff, but you know, I won't be doing that. But I don't think I'm gonna be putting these in my binder though. They're just a little too big. So I'll just keep them nice and safe in the box. And I don't think I mentioned in this video, but I did in my last one, but the three members that I do collect are Eric, which um, he is my alt bias in the group, and then I also collect Youngoon and Kevin. So there's two photo cards, and the first photo card that I pulled is Sangyeon. I have a lot of Sangyeon luck, so he likes to show up here. <laughs> and then I pulled Kevin's card. Um, I call this the sport card. I'm not really sure like what else to call it, but unfortunately I already bought him from Mercari Japan, but it's okay, it was cheap, so it's not a big deal. And then I got Bloom Bloom. Again, this is the heart version. In my previous video, I unboxed the Bloom version, which is blue. Thank you. 
And I did mention this in my last unboxing, but Bloom Bloom is my favorite mini album. It's my favorite song and I just love it so much. It's just so happy and this is really something that's just so uplifting and something that we could really use right now. So I highly recommend it. But yeah, I pulled Juyeon's uh, postcard and <laughs> I seem to pull him a lot too. Him and Sungyeon definitely show up here a lot. So I definitely have a lot of luck with them. And then here's also like a really cute little pop-up card which I kind of struggled a little bit to show you. And then for the photo card, I pulled Eric <laughs> and I was so excited because he is my alt bias in the group. Um, unfortunately, this is also another photo card I already got from Mercari Japan and it was like $3. It was so cheap. So that's why I jumped on the opportunity, not expecting that I was going to pull him myself, <laughs> but I'm still really thankful for it. And yeah, now we are into the sphere and this is the dream version super beautiful although i miss their boxier packaging but this is still really pretty and i love the color gradients one thing though that i feel like is a bit of a shame is that the photos seem really grainy or out of focus or hazy and I don't know if that's supposed to be, you know, on purpose because this is, you know, a dream version. So maybe that's why, but I don't know. I kind of wish that the, the image quality was a bit crisper, if, if that makes any sense. Now for the final photo card of the day, and I pulled Sanu's photo card. So I actually pulled him twice today, which I was totally not expecting. But that is it for today. I had so much fun unboxing these, and I hope that you enjoyed watching them too. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!